dot random um, parentheses close parentheses semicolon or is that colon semicolon yeah so that will then generate out a randomly selected number and this will of course fade our object to that randomly generated number and we also want to show what percentage it's faded to so here that paragraph tag with the class of um, OP which is down here will have its text replaced it's originally 100% because if anyone uh, the reason we fill these in sorry is if anyone scales one thing only and they see it and those will be left blank until they've clicked the other button so we want those to be filled in ready now as you can see here it goes dot text to fill in the text um, open parentheses math dot round now this rounds our variable up to only um, to have no decimal places so units tens hundreds all that but no decimal places because our um, math.random code generates a randomly selected number which it goes to more decimal places than I care to know <laughs> about that we don't need to know so that rounds that up to uh, the no decimal places and then we want to times that variable by 100% to get the percentage okay so this whole line of code here will give us the number of the um, opacity and then we're going to go plus and in uh, speech marks percent because that's a bit of text so we're going to go plus percent so that will add the percent onto the end awesome next we come to click 2 which is our width and that will have its own variable called w for width math.random again and then we want to animate our object variable and change the width to w which is that times 300 which is the full width of the box that means we've got we can get up to the ma a maximum of 300 and that's it and we want that to happen slowly remember that this animate has to be within squiggly brackets so it goes uh, bracket squiggly bracket width colon w times 300 squiggly bracket comma slow in the uh, little dash things sorry I'm tired uh, we'll call them speech marks for now that'll do and we of course want to change the span with the class of wi which is down here span wi to show our width our new width which again we have to say math.round to round it up from that tiny little number our width code which is that plus pixels which, here, which will add on our little px at the end same for height except the variable is called h and it goes to click 3 so we animate our object's height and it's h times 300 so span.he which is of course the same class as in our span for height because you always go width times height and slow and plus px next 4 click 4 which is our reset button now when they click this we want our reset button to switch its place with our yes and no buttons so we want to hide click 4 and show click 5 and click 6 and that's what toggle does toggle toggles show and hide and it sort of same changes the width and the height and the opacity all at the same time so it sort of vanishes out in a nice smooth manner so I want to uh, show 5 and show 6 and hide this which is of course click 4 so if we come back go to live view I think it works click it yep and we've got our yes and no buttons come up awesome now we're going to go to click 5 which is our yes button ignore all this code for the time being it's very simple but I'll come back to it we want when it's clicked we want it to hide click 4 we want it to show click 4 sorry so it's going to toggle click 4 back into existence which is our reset button 
and we want it to high click 6 which is our no button okay and we also want it to hide itself so of course if I click yes you see it hides itself and shows reset and the same for click 6 which is our no button we want it to uh, hide 5 bring 4 back into existence and hide itself so no awesome now we come up to here our main reset code the largest bit of code in the whole code block first off we call our variables which is height width and our opacity random number and I want all these to be set to 1 so we can get back to their original width height and opacity okay so once you've written got those we come to our animate now I've gone height width and opacity because that's the order I want it to animate in when I click reset I want it to first get the height back to the original height then the width then the opacity that means you can see the numbers change in the background so I want to animate our object animate height which is h times 300 so 1 times 300 is of course 300 so it's back to our original 300 width the same for 300 height sorry <coughs> the same for width width which is 1 times 300 and it brings it back to a width of 300 then we want to fade our object slowly to our variable of 1 which is of course what we want in fact yeah because opacity works uh, between 1 and 0, 0 being there's nothing and 1 being there's something and 0 0.5 being 50% opacity next we want to write it in the boxes so we do span.height which is the span of the class of height remember that go on here which will go math dot round so round up our original number which isn't really necessary because it's already a full number um, height which is 1 times 300 plus pixels so we got our pixels there so that will just leave us back again with that and the same for width span dot width dot text math round so round up 300 to 300 which is 300 plus our pixel text and lastly of course our um, paragraph of opacity which is here 100 percent and that we do need to round up because it will be one and we want it to be one times 100 is one well we don't need to round up forget that so it doesn't really matter about the math dot round I just left it in there because I actually copied and pasted it directly which is what you can do next we just go plus percentage awesome and once that's clicked we've already gone through that so it hides our yes no so if we have a look we're in live view you can change the opacity to nothing and you see the number in the background change change the width to whatever change the height to whatever and of course you see the text can't be seen because it's hidden overflow and then hit reset yes and it brings height width opacity done now as I said I was going to show you how to um, if you wanted those strong tags inside your paragraph tags I'll drag those in and if we save that out as you can see if I change the opacity it replaces the strong tags so they can't be seen anymore what's happening because it replaces everything in that P now you can either try and move the class into the strong tags and do strong dot OP I think that works I'm not quite sure or you can do it this way which is come up to our opacity so we want to start off by creating two um, speech marks and going strong like the tag and then space plus space so strong so I write out strong plus our number plus our percentage and we can just stick the closing strong tags 